Floor division is just like regular division, but there's a slight twist. The remainder is ignored, or truncated, or dropped, at least with positive numbers. Let's go over a few examples, but first with regular division. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 6 divided by 4 is 1.5, because 4 goes into 6 one whole time, and then half a time more right? Because it goes into 6 once, then we're left with a remainder of 2, and 2 divided by 4 is 0.5. So in all of these examples, we divided one integer by another integer, and we were actually left with, at least in the case of the last example, a fractional part, which isn't an integer. In Python, it's called a float. Or in a language like C, it might be called a double. So what is floor division? Floor division is just like regular division, but after the division operator, we have one more step. We floor the result. And floor really just means to always round down, no matter what the fractional part actually is. So while 6.8 rounded might round up to seven, 6.8 floored will still be floored down to six. And flooring a negative number, like negative 5.6, actually results in negative six, because negative six is less than negative five. And in Python, when we want to do floor division, there's actually a special operator for it. The regular division operator is just a single slash, but the floor operator is actually two slashes. So six floor divided by three is still two, just like six divided by three is two, but seven floor divided by three is also two. Whereas seven regular divided by three would be 2.33333. So to use our original example, six floor divided by four isn't 1.5, it's just one. Whereas nine floor divided by four is just two. And that's because four goes into nine a full two times and then the fraction is dropped.